everybody and welcome to another quick skills tutorial. My name is Dawn and I am from nerdygocreative.com and this week we're going to be working in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to be focusing on using the blend tool that is uh, available over here um, right there in our little panel of awesomeness. So and these are all the fun things that we're going to be looking at with the blend tool. Um, so I'm going to show you how to recreate all of these fun things really quickly and easily just using that tool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start using simple shapes and we're going to get a feel for it and see the different things that we can do with it. So I'm going to start with our simple ellipse tool, which is going to be L is the shortcut keyboard and or you can just come over here and click on ellipse tool. So I'm going to drag out while holding shift. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna switch this to a fill. I wanna get away from my stroke. And then I am going to choose over here this uh, nice bright blue color. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to click Alter Option on my keyboard to create a copy. And then I'm gonna kinda drag it out over here. And I'm going to just go ahead and align these tools. So you can come up here to your vertical align tool and it's going to go ahead and center them. And I'm going to change one of the colors of these to this nice bright uh, teal sky blue color. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select both and then I'm going to come over here to my blend tool or you can hit W on the keyboard. I am going to click on one and then click on the other and it's going to create this nice beautiful blend that is going to be straight perfectly across going from the nice cyan color to the deep blue color that we have and that's the first thing that we can do with the um the blend tool and it's really fun and creative you can actually come over here and still create click on the shape and you can change its color so um, I can change it to this green color and then it's going to automatically update the blend so I can, you know, go from red to pink, all this fun stuff here. All right. So I'm just going to move that up there. I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and then I'm just going to create another shape. Right now I don't have a color or fill, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this nice pink color. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Hold alt and drag out a copy but this time I am going to scale this one down and I'm going to kind of move it straight across the screen so we got some nice space going on I'm going to go ahead and vertical align them and then I'm going to come back over here to the blend tool go ahead and click on both objects and go from one to the next so now you can see that it not only blends colors but it also blends sizes so you can go from large to small small to large and you're going to get this nice blend going on here another option that you can do is we're going to just double click on the blend tool and it's going to bring out this little panel here and it's the blend options and make sure you click preview so that you can see all the changes that you're going to do before you go ahead and hit OK. So right now it's on smooth color, which is exactly what it does. It smoothly blends from the pink to the dark. And we're going to play around with specified steps. So right now you can see that it takes 218 steps to get from here to here. So it's telling you exactly how many. Now I want to go down to, let's say, six. Now, as you can see now, it's taking those six steps and it's blending it both in size and color to get down. And you can go ahead and check the specified distance and you can put distance between each ellipse from side to side. So right now it's only at four pixels and that's how it gets the, the smooth blend from one to the other. If we were to really up the pixel spacing, like let's say by 300, you can see it only gives you three shapes. Um, and then if we were to go ahead and if we were to change it again, let's just go down to 200. Now we get, you know, and you can kind of play with this until you get the desired amount of shapes that you want to blend down. Um, this tool is actually really fun sometimes to use when you're creating custom, uh, illustrator brushes um, and I'll do a tutorial on that another day, but, um, this one is a really fun tool to use. So. We're just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I'm gonna move this one out of the way. And the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna create some, some fun blending shapes. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a polygon. And 
get that nice big one. Let me bring it down just a little bit. All right, so now we have our shape. I'm going to actually change the outside color of this one to this nice bright blue. And then I am going to copy this shape, which is going to be Command or Control C. And then I'm just going to paste it in the front. So I'm going to go Command or Control F. So now I have another shape, and I'm actually going to recolor the shape so that you can see the next color. Pulling it down. And then I'm going to kind of find the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing, Control or Command C. Command F on front. Let's change this color to a purple. Pull it down, bring it in. Do it one more time. Command C, Command F. Bring it into this blue. And size it down quite a bit. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and just rubber band select all of them. Then I'm going to align them center. Now the fun part of the blending tool comes into play. So I've got them all selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit blend tool or W on the keyboard. I'm going to hit this circle and then I'm going to tap this circle on the outside. And as you can see, it has now blended from the inside to the outside. Now I still have that red circle selected, so I can just go ahead and hit the purple and it's going to blend the red to the purple. And then it's going to go one more time. I'm going to click it out to the teal and it's going to blend it all the way out. So now you have sort of like a radial effect, which is really fun and kind of tie dye, you know, you can get that psychedelic sort of look going on. But now you have this really beautiful, you know, blending on the outside. And again, like I said earlier, you can click if you could find the shape again and change its color. And then it also automatically updates the blend color to it. So it's really fun to play with. All right, so now we're going to put um, put some behind the typography so you can get this nice, you know, gradient effect that you kind of control a little bit more. So um, I'm going to go ahead and type some typography out. All right, now to do the clipping mask, I actually have to expand this into a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and expand. And I'm going to expand object and fill. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a compound path. And then I can actually take this. Let me scale this up a bit. And then I can select both. And then I can come up here to object, clipping mask, and then make. And then there you have it. You have this beautiful um, blended gradient that you can um, put over any typography in Illustrator. There's a lot of different uses for the blend tool, but this was just a quick and, uh, quick and easy tutorial on some of its uh, base functions. I hope everybody really enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to these videos. I create a new tutorial or freebie every week, and you can catch me over at nerdygirlcreative.com and nerdygirlcreative on YouTube. Go create something amazing.